Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. In this video, we are going to make a comparison between the AAB SPM100, the Imperial 921M static pressure meter, and the Testo 510i. One of the features of my new train zone system is that the zone board will tell me information about the duct static. There's actually a pressure tap on the return plenum and the supply plenum that takes that reading and returns it to this zone board on this little pressure transducer. So I've got everything teed in to the return and everything teed in to the supply and all the meters are connected and my zone board as you see says we've got a 0.35 delta static pressure or duct static pressure. It doesn't give me the separation of supply and return but it does give me supply air and return air. Right now I'm just doing a test mode at 100% blower. I'm going to make sure that everything is zeroed, we'll disconnect the hoses, and then we'll reconnect and uh, show you what everything looks like. The I-manifold is zeroed out. The Testo 510 is reading 0.02. I'm going to go ahead and zero that measurement out. To zero, zero. And this one is reading zero also, but we're going to stop that, delete that, calibrate the meter. And then we'll go to taking a reading. Due to some technical difficulties with my first generation iPad Mini, I retested the SPM100 after connecting it to a newer iPad Mini. The readings are slightly different from the others because conditions are slightly different. The original video is linked above. So the AAB is getting a little bit of testing separate from the other components. Right now we've got a 100% blower and the zone board shows 0.43 static. The AAB shows a return pressure of negative 22, supply pressure of 20, total external of 0.42. The Testo 510 shows a 0 0.33, 0 0.32, fluctuating obviously as you can see in the graph there and then the I manifold says I'm running a 0.374 I'm going to go ahead and add trending to the I manifold since we have that option we'll trend total external static and submit Go back to the I manifold. So, one thing that the I manifold static pressure probe does that the other two probes do not is actually compensate for readings based on standard air and sea level and a bunch of stuff I have no understanding of. But it also does a lot of. Uh, balancing to keep the number from fluctuating heavily but that one's going to take a minute to you know actually show some of those points moving around on the 510 you can see that it's jumped up and down quite a bit over time and then on the i manifold 921m that one is staying fairly steady 
but that's kind of expected with all the calculations that the I-manifold does. My zone board still says that we're running a 0.35. So the zone board agrees with my Testo 510 and the I-manifold says that there is a slight difference in those readings. Just to give you an overview, we've got all three meters side by side, all three displays, and then we've got all three meters side by side there. Everything is teed in, everything comes from the same ports, and right now I'm taking differential pressure over the media filter. Pressure drop across the filter is 0 0.16, 0 0.15. The Testo 510 says that we're running a negative drop across that filter of 0.13, roughly. And the I-manifold says that we're getting a drop of negative 2, negative 0.2. I'm going to switch over and take a reading across the return to the supply plenum. Differential pressure on the zone board shows a 0.47. The Testo 510 comes pretty close to agreeing with that, 0.46, 0.47. And the I-manifold says that across between the return and the media filter up to the supply plenum, we've got a 0.552 total static. Between the filter and the supply plenum, we've got a 0.59 and a 0.59. Despite the fact that it looks like I need to downgrade my filtration from a media filter between the blower and the media filter and before the evaporator coil I've got a 0.96 static the Testo 510 pretty much agrees with that 0.94 And the I-manifold shows over one inch of static on that blower. Static after the filter and before the evaporator coil, 1.07 and 1.06. One measurement that I did not take on the other meters I'll show you the pressure drop across the evaporator coil. With all the probes and the hoses disconnected, we see that the I-manifold goes back to zero and that the Testo 510 has drifted about five one hundredths of an inch. With the hoses disconnected, the AAB has drifted about five one hundredths of an inch on average. Final thoughts on the whole deal is basically that the AAB is pretty much on par with the Testo 510. It does everything that that meter will do and the readings come very close. Now there is the detail that the readings that are shown in the video were made at different times and simply cut together to match up pretty much with everything else but they are the same meter the same sensor and capable of the same things and then the iConnect manometer has a resolution that blows everything else out of the water uh, you guys all know that I'm a big fan of iManifold and iConnect but the static pressure meter the 921M is head and shoulders above 
other sensors. And there's a reason. It costs $300 instead of sub $100. You have to buy other things with that probe, the 921M, to be able to do the readings because it has to either communicate with your iManifold or your iConnect device, but they're not even in the same league with the other manometers that I showed. I'm still waiting on my humidity temperature sticks. I had one. I sent back the 905i temperature only stick from Testo so that I could get another 605i and be able to do the system power calculation in the Testo app so that I can show you guys that and we'll have videos of that in comparison to the iConnect temperature sticks. I don't think I've even got another temperature stick option. Maybe I'll borrow somebody else's you know basic piercing probe or I could actually do some of the piercing probes that are wired to the iManifold probes. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Don't forget, use the coupon code RARVID at truetechtools.com to get $10 off your order of $10 or more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm. Cold, cold night. One man, you